B9 Beverages Limited, which is Bira 91's parent company, has uh, announced that they're raising $25 million in a new funding round, and that is going to be led by Tiger Pacific Capital, an Asia-focused uh, fund, which is headquartered in New York and Hong Kong. Let's hear out my colleague Sumitha Kareer in conversation with Ankur Jain, the founder and CEO of BR91, talking about how they're looking to leverage these funds and stepping up and driving their growth across markets. Uh, we love making beer, and I love beer personally. That's how it all started. Uh, I moved back to India about 15 years ago, and uh, the first thing I noticed was there was not a, a lot of beers worth drinking. So I said, let me fix that problem, and I had uh, uh, st started on my journey of uh, learning about beer, learning about making beer, and so on, and uh, that's how it all started. And you've gained traction pretty quickly. Within just two years of launch, after two years, uh, which was in 2015, you became pretty successful. And Bira, I think it is a much-loved brand as far as independent beer makers are concerned. So I want to ask you a fun question. Did the monkey come first or the name? I think it almost uh, happened together. Uh, like all good things, something sort of strikes and some magic happens and it comes to life. So I think Bira 91 is one of those things. Um, what we have done in the last nine years, it's been ni nine years since I started the company, is uh, nothing short of uh, magic, magic and uh, I still can't explain it because we've got so much of love from consumers. Uh, I think our products have been really well loved. Uh, brand, the monkeys have gotten a lot of love from consumers, especially Absolutely. consumers of this generation. Uh, so we're having a lot of fun. Absolutely, absolutely. And now let's come to the business side of things. I want to understand from you, how are you going to use this funding that you've just raised, $25 million? Um, you know, Tiger Pacific has acquired around 4% of stake in your company. I want to understand the shareholding, um, you know, with this recent funding and, of course, Tiger Pacific increasing, the, uh, increasing its stake in the company. Can you tell us all about that and how are you going to deploy this capital? Sure. So, uh, yes, we're very excited to welcome Tiger Pacific to our cap table. This is the first crossover fund that is invested in Vira 91. Uh, of course, we've had some tremendous uh, support from some of the most well-known investors from across the world. Uh, Peak 15, earlier Sequoia India, was the first institutional investor in our company. Uh, the leading domestic funds like uh, Anikut Capital, Sixth Sense, uh, key family office from Belgium, Sofina, and of course, a uh, great uh, brand like uh, Kirin, mm. uh, which is Japan's largest beer company mm. uh, that has also invested in our uh, mm. business. So we've always sought capital from a diverse set of investors, people who understand beer, people who understand investing, and add something more than just capital to our mm. uh, business. And mm. Kirin's a great uh, uh, example where we've uh, not just mm. uh, raised capital from them, but also mm. uh, they've helped us tremendously improve product mm. and improve product quality. Mm -hmm. I want to understand how do you plan to deploy this capital now, considering that you know uh, you are present in many Indian cities. You're also present in uh, over two dozen countries as well. Yeah. Uh, you have six breweries, I guess. How do you plan to deploy this capital? So a lot of our capital will be deployed in India. We are expanding manufacturing in North India. So so some part of this capital will go in capital expansion and setting up new breweries. Uh, there is a brewery that's upcoming in Uttar Pradesh, which is expected to be the country's largest brewery once uh, finished. Uh, we are also at a very key inflection point. We've had a little bit of a tough year, a uh, lot of transformation, digital transformation, etc. So we'll continue to invest in our digital uh, sort of uh, assets and digital uh, sort of uh, systems and so on. Uh, but largely the capital will be used for growth. Uh, we're expecting to turn a bit to positive next fiscal, and that's what uh, we're uh, trying to do. You know, take us through the numbers. You say that you are trying to be a better positive uh, next fiscal. And over there, if my camera person could pan on to that ticker, we are getting live sales of, uh, you know, Bira's bottles and beers and whatnot across all the states. So take us through the states that are doing really well in terms of uh, beer consumption as far as Bira is concerned. And take us through uh, your financials. Yeah. So uh, this year, we will cross about $100 million in uh, uh, sales. Uh, we are expecting to expand that to about 130 to 140 million dollars next year uh, and that's when we break even uh, our expectation is that uh, uh, from a market share perspective we will be able to expand to 
uh, significant market share in some states, uh, states like Madhya Pradesh, uh, Maharashtra, Karnataka, Delhi, Haryana, Andhra Pradesh, these are very, very important states for our business. Mm -hmm. I also want to understand from you on your international expansion, you know, you started off in 2015, already present in over or at least 12 countries as of now. Um, what are really the consumption habits globally vis-a-vis -vis those as compared to the India market? How, does, how is the Indian consumer different from the global one? I think the global market is way more competitive and way more diverse. Uh, you need to make really high quality products to survive in the international market and thankfully we've been able to do that. Mm -hmm. I think uh, from our perspective, our focus on international is uh, to find pockets where uh, there, are, there are a lot of Indian consumers. Mm -hmm. As Indian food premiumizes, as Indians become more and more mainstream, the argument that we're making is that the Indian beer that's being consumed uh, should also get an upgrade and that's what we're here for.